Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is how to create a detailed report in the design of combined footing. But before that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated for our future uploads. First of all, you need to install this software called Midas Design Plus. I highly recommend this software especially in exporting detailed reports such as reinforced concrete design, steel design, composite beam design, composite column design, aluminum design, and etc. Now to start, open the Midas Design Plus software. Create new document. Select combined footing under the reinforced concrete. To change the system unit, double-click on the RC, ACI, 318-14. I will be using the SI unit system. The design code is ACI 318-M-14 in order to get metric result of the design. To change the rebar from imperial bar size into metric size, double-click on the rebar code tab. Then change the code from ASDM to GB. And also, change the steel reinforcement material from KS into GB. Then click Apply. You can choose any name for the member name. In this sample, we will call this as Combined Footing 1. Under Material, the concrete strength for this sample is 28 MPa, Main rebar strength is 414 megapascal. Under column information, click on this three dots for the column 1 details. For this sample, we have a rectangular footing with a dimension of 300 mm by 300 mm, having a service axial load of 200 kN and ultimate axial load of 300 kN. And for column 2 details, let's say we have a dimension of 350 mm by 350 mm, having a service axial load of 250 kN and ultimate axial load of 330 kN. And the spacing between the two columns on center is 2 meters. For footing details, the thickness of the footing, for this sample, is 350 mm with a concrete cover of 75 mm. The dimensions of left and right exteriors are assumed to be 1 meter. The width of the combined footing is 1.5 meters and the soil bearing capacity is 200 kPa. For the surface load, we have 10 kPa. The density of the soil is 18 kN per cubic meter. The depth of the footing from the natural ground to the top of the footing is assumed to be 1.5 meters. Check this box to include self-weight. Moving on to the reinforcement bar arrangement along X direction. At left cantilever, we will assume a diameter of 16 mm spaced at 300 mm. For the support one, we have a diameter of 16 mm spaced at 200 mm. For span 1 to 2, that is intended for the top bars, we have a diameter of 16 mm spaced at 250 mm. For the support 2, same with support 1, that is 16 mm spaced at 200 mm. At right cantilever, same with left cantilever, that is 16 mm spaced at 300 mm. Going to the reinforcement bar arrangement along Y direction. For the support 1 and 2, we will assume a diameter of 16 mm spaced at 200 mm. And after that, click the check button to check whether our design is safe or not. But you may also choose the design button, if you want the program itself make the design. Now, in this table here, this is the summary of calculation result. The blue color figures represent the stress ratios such as the actual soil stress versus the soil bearing capacity, one-way shear, two-way shear and etc. And you can notice that all ratios are less than 1, meaning the design is safe. Recheck your design if this becomes red color. To export the detailed report, click the report button and then click detailed report in Word file. Wait for the Word file to appear. 
And this will be the detailed report of your design. In this report, it shows the general information of the design, containing the design code and unit system used. The materials used, where it shows the strength of the concrete and steel bars. And we have also here the design load of each column and the surcharge load. It also shows the foundation details, where you can find the dimensions of the footing, thickness of the footing, the concrete cover, and also the allowable soil bearing capacity. And also, we have here the plan and elevation view of the footing, its moment diagram and shear diagram. It also shows the rebar sizes with their corresponding spacing for both X and Y direction. Then, it checks the soil capacity, shear capacity, and moment capacities of the footing. And lastly, it also calculates the minimum rebar area required and the provided spacing versus the required spacing. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video and to be updated for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.